Good morning everyone, uh, in a few minutes we're going to do the live stream in the Inside Church and this beautiful 1874 church and please join with us at 10 o'clock for the live stream with the music of our organist to with us today. So I hope you will join us at 10 o'clock. Just want to test the sounds, one, two, three, how can you hear it? Please comment if you want the sound is clear or not, please, thank you. Thank you.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. A warm welcome to all of us, especially to the congregation of Saint Savior, Saint Barnabas, and the Filipino chaplaincy. Today is the day of baptism of Christ and the first Sunday of Epiphany. In our Gospel today, uh, God given us how ourselves fully to respond our baptism. So today, we let us continue to pray for those who are affected of this pandemic to the world for healing, peace, love, and joy. Let us all pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known and from all the secrets are hidden, cleanse our thoughts by, of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let's call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor in thought and word and deed through negligence, through weakness, to our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent for all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, who gave us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in unity of life to the glory of your name. Amen.
eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus never came to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children, to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and works with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The reading. The Old Testament reading is from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, beginning to read at verse 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The epistle reading is from the book of Acts. Chapter 19, beginning to read at verse 1. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And then he said, into what then were you baptised? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptised with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were then baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve of them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
human. Glory to you. with the Christian. 
conclusion about this story. Why does Jesus choose to be baptized in John's baptism of repentance? Did Jesus sin? Was he in need for repentance and forgiveness? Does John know that the person he baptizing is the one who knows he is unworthy to untie? How is it that the only Jesus saw the dark and heard the voice? Mark seems to leave a lot of interesting fact out of the story that because Mark has a purpose of telling the story this way. This is the first moment in the Gospel of Mark that Jesus is all the saints. There is no birth story in Mark. No angels and shepherd or major of Mag Magi. Mark first stories about Jesus proclaims the other gospel proclaim a birth story. Jesus is the beloved son of God. God is so eager to be with humanity. In this moment, that God tears the heaven apart and comes down. The Spirit rests on Jesus in this moment of belonging and celebration. We will immediately lead Jesus deeper into the wilderness to be tested and prepared for his ministry. Christian baptism is believed to do many things according to the scriptures. It is participation in the death and resurrection of Jesus. It is a ritual was for new life. It is we are assured of the forgiveness of our sins. We receive the Holy Spirit. We are welcomed into the body of Christ, the church. And it is a sign of God's covenant with the world. Whatever baptism does, the fact remains that God calls us to be baptized. We do not initiate. God wants to tear open the heaven and come down and say to teach us, you are my child, my beloved. One of the gifts of the baptism is this polyvalent nature. The different aspect of baptism, baptismal theology can be important to us at different times in our lives. For someone who has a tinkered past, birth to new life might be the invitation. For the person burdened by their own sins, by the sinfulness, they may be seeking a visible, physical way to feel God's forgiveness. To the one who has been marginalized and excluded, 
the belonging one finds in the body of Christ might be in the vision. Baptism is a visible sign of invisible grace. It is sacramental, embodied, incarnational. And in that moment, and that any other baptism, I am invited to celebrate our own celebration. It is important for us to remember our baptism, to take every opportunity available to renew our baptism. Whenever we enter the sanctuary with a hope, we need to dip our finger in the water and make a sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, as it is done in our baptism. We do it to remember that whenever we go and whatever we do or whatever we do, God continue to love us, accept us, and hold unto us. So then we are so cheap a permission as we substitute for real accepting and belonging, not so in baptism. As David Laws suggests, at our lowest moment, we might remember that the God who raised Jesus from the dead is the same one who promised in baptism to never abandon us and to love and accept us always. As we beloved children, even and especially when we are a hard time loving and accepting ourselves. But we say this to remind us that God will never abandon us. To remember who we are and what we are called to do. Remember that we are part of the whole family of God's children. <coughs> and that is true. Even at time we will feel distance. And we are particular irritated with honor of our siblings. <coughs> Remember our baptism to be reminded that grace <coughs> so it always come for sin. Remember that baptism to remind ourselves that the Holy Spirit, our constant companion, whenever we be pushed into the wilderness, or need <coughs> Angels to attend us when it's over. Baptism is their gift, the gift knowing that God loves us, that we belong. There is nothing that can separate us from that. Rejoice! You are sealed by the Holy Spirit, marked with the cross of Christ. Amen.
Let's affirm our faith and common faith. We believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternal and the Father, God from God, light from light, to God from to God. Begotten that made one being the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified and not crucified, suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and ascended to right hand of the Father. He will come again to God and Jesus, even in the dead, and his kingdom will come again. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord who gave us life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, was spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of them and the life of the world to come. In the name of the Holy Spirit, let us pray for the world, for ourselves, and for others. Heavenly Father, we pray for you today for the church around the world. Save them, 
especially those who are in the hospital and care home and their own home, and especially those who are struggling right now of this virus. We pray for them for healing and peace. And we continue praying for Dr. Romero Kimoy, for Ruth Aquino, Carla Andrea Martinez, Joy Sula, and to the family of Telen Amoy and And we pray also for the congregation of St. Savior, St. Barnabas, and the Philippine Chaplaincy. For those who are in prayer, may the Lord bless them all with the Holy Spirit. And we also pray for the soul of Maxima Martinez and Jolie de Buda. And to those who all who died in the name of Christ. And those who died in the victim of COVID. Lord, in your mercy, hear prayer. At this moment of silence, let's offer our own prayer to ourselves, those whom we love, and those whom we know.
Blessed be the Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread set before you, which earth is given the human hands and men, it will become us the bread of life. Blessed be God for the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become us the cup. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let up your heart, let them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Through whom you have created all things, who are sent by you with your great goodness to be a Savior. By the power of the Holy Spirit, it took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived with earth and went among us. He opened wide his arm for us on the cross. He put to an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising. So he fulfilled the will of God for your own people, therefore, with the angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim the victory of your sin, where we are praising you and sin. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, who dies in the kingdom of our glory. in the 
about himself? Of Jesus, you love son, by the power of your own spirit, to live the heavenly world of our holy world, to the waters of the new creation, to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for giving us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. To Him, we offer you our souls and bodies to the living sacrifice. Send us out the power of your Spirit to live in war, to your grace and glory. Amen. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for watching us in live stream, praying for us in this baptism of Christ, the first Sunday of the Bimani. We are also praying with you, those who are people looking for a deep prayer. Our church, St. Savior and St. Barnabas, is praying to all our congregation. And we hope that you will pray also to each other. And thank you for our and our church will then deal with us with me today for this uh, first live stream uh, since we opened our church last Sunday. But thanks God that we continue our uh, live stream, our holy Eucharist in our uh, live stream in Facebook. Uh, I'm very sorry that we lost this church for the cause of this pandemic and we are also uh, looking after our congregation. But we will pray that all these things will be done soon. For the next Sunday, our live stream, the streaming, will be at St. Barnabas Church. We will be doing that with the uh, church rather than so from St. Barnabas, of course, with Thomas Weddell, and we will have our live stream in St. Barnabas Church next Sunday. For those who celebrate the birthday today, anniversary, whatever you celebrate, we can bless you.
understanding, keep your mind and love of God and the Holy Spirit be with us, and the blessing of God the mind of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Go now to love and serve the Lord. Thank you.